you predict more murders. One thing I've, I've noticed recently is that it's, they seem to be getting younger and younger. As we mentioned, you know, Wolverhampton was 15. We had one in Birmingham last week that was 16. And you just spoke about, you know, kids as young as 13 bringing knives into school. Now, why do you think it's getting younger and younger? I, I've got my theory on it. I mean, I, looking back when I was in school, mm -hmm. In Birmingham, it didn't really ever feel to me as though the city was really that bad in terms of violence. And nowadays, it, it you know, young kids go into school, see everything that happens on social media, see a lot in the news about everything that's happening. Do you think that that's got something to do with it, with the reason why it's getting younger and younger for kids? I think most definitely, I think we have to acknowledge that we're in a technological era. So the access to social media platforms, as well as media streams, kind of, connects us um, as human beings and gives us better pictures of narratives of what's going on around the world. So if I want to discover um, what's going on in my city, I only can go to a click of a button and find out what's going on. You know, just earlier on, we looked at there was a murder that was not too long ago. And what did we do? We just clicked a button. So we're in an era now where young people are more aware of the violence. So not to say that the violence didn't exist uh, when you was growing up or when I was growing up, but we knew about that based on probably what our parents told us or based on what people in that little community that you lived may have told you about. But now we're in an environment now where if something happens in the community, people are Snapchatting, people dying on the floor. Yeah. You know, there's a video that I watched not too long ago where a young man um, in the community that just recently lost his life, you know, people are video recording, you know, this young man dying. So he, he, he also talks about Something else which I talk about in my research is about how social media is making our young people more and more narcissistic. So for me, all of it is connected. So it's connected in the sense that we're in a technological era. The access to information is is a click of, by a click of a button. But what social media is also doing is it's making individuals or human beings, making them want to be at the forefront of the camera at all times, at all moments. So even in a time of death, even in a time of... Um, despairing chaos, people feel that they have to document it. So if I'm sitting at home and I'm not involved in anything and I'm observing all of these things on social media, I'm like, wow, I'm watching a young man, 15 years old, 16 years old. I'm watching him die. I'm watching a video of him dying. And then the video following that is then someone eating McDonald's. So it shows that we've become so numb and desensitized to violence, to death, that for many of the young people that live in the community, carrying a knife is nothing. Carrying weapons is, is nothing. It's something to the individuals that catch them. It's something to some of us outside in the community that have no awareness of the reality that young people are living. So for me, when I look at technology, it's very different. When we was growing up, if we wanted to know what somebody looked like or somebody, um, the characteristics of someone, we would kind of have to do a little bit of research. You'd have to find out from one person to another person. Now, if I want to know who you are, if I want to know that who you, who you roll with or who you hang around with, I want to know all of those types of things by the click of a button. So even when we talk about the context of young people, gangs and violence, for example, historically, if you had a problem with somebody, it's when you see them. Nowadays, if I click YouTube, if I go to Instagram, I can find out who you are, who you chill with, the people that you take pictures with, probably your girlfriend, what your kids look like, just because we're in an era now where people feel that they have to post their life. And I'm saying there's nothing wrong with posting your life, but what I'm saying is what that does to your earlier question is it brings forth the reality in which we're living in. So when you say to me a young person is, uh, more young people are carrying knives at a younger age, I'm saying that that's a reflection of a wider society you've also got to remember the environments that we live in. We live in a violent society. And that's not just based on young people. You know, you look at films, you look at, you know, games, you look at um, certain types of music. You look at so much different aspects of society that are quite violent. And I would say that young people, I'll go as far as saying young people are products of those environments in which they live in. And you live in, you know, these young people are living in environments where I always say that survival is the forefront of their attention. You know, and if I live in a violent so uh, society, if I live in a violent community, then for me, I need to make sure that I'm okay for today and I need to make sure that I'm okay for tomorrow. So if I'm watching on YouTube, if I'm watching on Instagram and Twitter, people getting knocked out in the same area that I live, 
I might need to equip myself with the right tools that enable me to be safe for that particular day. And for me, when we're talking about a response, these are the things that we have to engage with because what you're talking about is a mindset, a mindset that's been shaped, been driven, been reshaped by a social media platform or social media society or technological society that's not down to us. And I think that what we're doing is young people are engaging with these particular mediums and we don't understand it as adults and we're just like, Pfft. but the reality is violence has always existed. Young people have always been violent. Society have always blamed young people for the violence. But I think that in the era in which we are now, because young people are seeing violence um, from a click of a button, somewhat it makes it easier for them to communicate, engage, say their perspectives and also to react in ways in which probably we don't agree with and don't understand um, because of the environments that we often live in.